You are the most high God. You are the reason why we are alive today. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the reason why we are living. Jehovah, you are the most high God. You are the most high God. You are the most high God. Begin to appreciate him, begin to adore him, begin to adore him because he's the Lord of love. Somebody begin to adore him, begin to worship him, become there is no one like him because he's the beginning of the end, he's the Lord of love, he's the creator of the creator, he's everlasting Jehovah, he's the one that walked upon the sea, he's the Lord of love, the ancient of day, the miracle of Jehovah, the covenant Jehovah, the one that walked upon the sea, the King of King and the Lord of Love. Father, we thank you. We adore you. Maseke Somebody begin to worship him. Somebody begin to adore him. Become there is no one like him. Become there is no one like him. He's the beginning of the end. He's the God of yesterday and forever and forever. More. Somebody begin to adore him because he's everlasting Jehovah. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the Great of the Great. He's the Mighty of the Mighty. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the one that seated upon the throne. Counselor, Father, we worship you for who you are, for what you are. Jehovah Nefesh, Jehovah Zimtim, Jehovah El Elyon, the one who was like Israel needs to come. Father, we worship you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we exalt you. Father, we exalt you. Let the the cause is your answer is the consuming of fires. Father, you are the grace of authorities. You are the one that answered by the king of kings. You are the beginning of the ages. You are the alpha and the omega. The Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. The covenant of Jehovah. The one that walked upon the sea. Father, there is no one to compare with your names. Because you are the Lord of Lords, Father, you are the Alpha and the Omega. Father, open your heaven. Let your heaven speak upon the lives of your daughter and your son. Father, let your grace of the answer, let your ability of your grace, let your movement of the Holy Ghost. This is the consuming of fire. Makazoni kutu basuketi. I declare whatsoever authority that is trying to speak. That there was so ever voice the devil that is trying to speak. 
Father, let every voice of the evil be silenced by the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord shall sort down the mouth of your enemy by the name of Jesus, the answer and the grace and the light of the Holy Ghost. Because the grace of the unction of God, the authority of the grace of the movement of the Holy Ghost, and I speak whatsoever powers, whatsoever the altar of the enemies, that is trying to intercede upon the evils, the altar of demonic that is standing. I command them to come speak, to come intercede. In the light of the children of God, because we are gathered in the power of the Holy Ghost, we are gathered by the name of Jesus that is above every name. Let the grace of the light but let the authority of the Holy Ghost, let the angels of the Holy Ghost, the power of God, Masekeye will shout. Kazeniri kutu basukete, kazekete le will shout in Brazil. By the name of Jesus Christ, whosoever that is trying to stand, the agent of darkness of the evils. Father, I speak that your answer. I speak with your grace. I speak with your anointing of your Holy Ghost. I speak in the altar of the consuming of the fire of God. Let our yoke shall be broken. Let our limitations shall be destroyed. And I declare in the grace of God, the mark of the Holy Ghost, the mark of the angels of God, I'll speak upon your lives. That lion of the evils, that power of authority, that mouth of the devils shall be shut down. By the name of Jesus, by the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord shall shut down whatsoever powers, whatsoever authorities, whatsoever kingdom, whatsoever wickedness, but in high places, in the name of Jesus. Is the fight of authority of the Holy Ghost. Malik Asuke Kele Boshanta. Child of God, you go to a level you need to understand that the fight you fight is not your own fight. It's the fight of the spiritual fight. It's the fight of authorities that you need to take authority. And I begin to declare, because whatsoever that is standing against you, whatsoever that is standing against your family, and I speak right now, whatsoever the mountain of the evil, sir, I command that the answer of the Holy Ghost, let our vein be destroyed. Let our anointing begin to break that yoke. Let our evil double confusion begin to break in the name of Jesus. Maleke su kayada bo su ketena. Kayare bo su kete. Mas zundere bo shanta. Kaseke leko su ta. Kazoni li kutu. Zendiri ba su ketele bo shanta. Every power the friendship of the devils that is speaking right now. Somebody who are in a relationship a relationship with the evils, and the evil of altar that is standing by the name of Jesus can never stand against your relationship, your friends, whatsoever that make you a friend that become a evil to come and laugh you, to come and mock you. By the name of Jesus, child of God, I come to speak that because there's many people that are going to live your ways, but the power of anointing of God I speak to your life. I speak in the answer of the Holy Ghost. Whatsoever that have touched to you as an evil of objects, by the power of anointed of God, I speak right now. Let our yoke, let our authorities, let our limitation of that devils be broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Head of God, Jesus. the friends is attached to you, but that friends that have become a destruction of the evils, 
He has become a mocker of the devils. He has become a distortion. He has become authority. He has become an evil. And I declare by the name of Jesus Christ, because the angels of God will surround you. And the power of the Holy Ghost will build the fire of God around you. Because the angels of the Holy Ghost will build the fire of the Holy Ghost to run you in the name of Jesus. The fire of the Holy Ghost will build the world of fires around you. For so ever that they stand as an friend of the evils, as touching to your lives, attaching upon your lives, upon your business, upon your glories. And I speak in the name of Jesus. Upon the devils, let a limitation be destroyed. Let a power be destroyed. In the name of Jesus. Because no one can be sent to monitor you. But I speak in the name of Jesus. He said, Our bodies are a temple of the fire of God. Because no one can defy you. Because no one can speak against you. No author of the devil can speak. But the answer of the name of Jesus, because the blood of the Holy Ghost, the blood of the Lion, in the name of Jesus, I command the power of the devils. Let the mark of God, let the grace of God, let the authority of the Holy Ghost. So ever turn that is rising, command that turn by the name of Jesus to be silenced. And God will show the mouth of the devils. God will show that the mouth of the evil, sir. the mouth of the evil liar, the mouth of the evil kingdoms. In the name of Jesus. Because the power of anointed of God, the grace of the Holy Ghost, the anointed of God will break every limitation. You're upon this meeting right now. Every time you are seeing yourself inside the bush, running in a bush, but I declare against that power. Whatsoever that is chasing you in the bush, whatsoever that is chasing you, whatsoever that has been against your life, Child of God, I speak. Become the mark of Jesus, the mark of the Holy Ghost, the mark of God. Break that limitation. Break that limitations. So ever that is distending, as in a monitoring spirit, as in a monitoring spirit, when I come against you, whatever you are right now. I want you to open your mouth and begin to declare that no power can monitor you. No authority can speak against you upon your blessing, upon your job, upon your business, by the name of Jesus. Whatsoever they have sent to monitor you, let the angels of God begin to shut the mouth of the, the, mouth of the evils. Let the angels of God, the authority and the anointed of God begin to shut the mouth of the devils. The mouth of the evil ones that are trying to stand against you. Because the fire of God will build around you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord has anointed your head by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Your head is an anointed. Your head is an anointed by the name of Jesus. Because it's a consuming of fires. It's a consuming of fires. It's a burning of authorities. I speak in the power of the Holy Ghost. And I come against every spirit of blood. Every covenant of blood that is trying to speak against your life, against your families. Every blood that the devil has raised as an altar of the devils. 
I speak against the blood by the grace of God. Let our yoke be broken. Let our yoke be terminated. Let our power be destroyed right now. And the heaven of God shall speak. There is something that is standing. And I speak against it. The Lord opened my eyes. Saw the blood that had been shared. Sprinkles. And I appear, I say the Lord stole me. As I appeared upon this place, this blood will not speak. Amen. This is a revelation the Lord showed me yesterday. And I begin to pray against it. I wake up this morning. I wake up late. And I was preparing to work. He called me. His blood was shed. I was quiet. I said, take an anointing oil, take an salt, and sprinkle there. It's done. Because when you believe your God yourself and you stand on it, it can never fail you, child of God. Amen. Because there's something that God has placed in our lives. You see, you have released the mantle of the Holy Ghost upon us. Because you have made us a weapon of the Holy Ghost. Because no blood of the evil can be shared upon your lives. Amen. No blood of the devil can be shared. Amen. Because the Bible says, says we are more than conquerors. Okay. We are more than conquerors. We are more than what the devil may expect. He may expect the evils because they will begin to see the blessings in different ways. What is that power can challenge us? Because that God has anointed my head with oil. He has ordered my feet to go. Because whatsoever I step upon my feet, I possess my possession. Child of God, that is the mandate of blessing upon your life. Because no power of the evils can speak against you. No Amen. power have authority over your life, over your families. What is that evil that is speaking? What is that demonic of authority that is speaking? That I come to speak as in the lion of the Holy Ghost, as in the mandate I speak upon there by the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of the Holy Ghost. And I declare upon your lives. You have anointed you by the grace of God. You have carried the mark of the Holy Ghost upon your life. The mark of the Holy Ghost. The mark of God. Because that mark can never be stopped by anyone. There's a cross that you have given upon your hands. He says he has carried you upon your hands. Because no wing of the devil can speak. Because they are preparing tables in the presence of your enemies. Because it's a dance and win by the name of Jesus. Because the Lord has made you grace. No one can bring you down. And I speak the grace of God. And I speak the mandate of fire. And I speak the answer of the grace of God. And I speak the power of God. Every table's around. Jesus Christ. He will turn the every table's around. The Amen. tables of joy. The tables of blessings. The Amen. tables of sources. Amen. By the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. What happened to Daniel? Daniel was thrown into the prison. And Daniel was locked. Behold, there's an, a lion upon the prison. Because Daniel know the God is serving. He's a serving a living God. And Daniel was quiet. 
And the lion opened his mouth and God closed the mouth of lion. Child of God, what do you believe? What is your faith? What is your expectations upon this meeting, upon this month? What is your desire? What is your hope? What is your hope? What is your grace that is upon your life? What is your faith that is upon you? Now I come to speak and I come to announce by the name of Jesus that the unction of God shall live upon you. Amen. And the supernatural of the Holy Ghost, that the movement of dimension of grace and the power of the Holy Ghost. And God saw the mouth of lions. And lion was calm. Lion becomes the friends of Daniel in the prison. Malek is sinking. And King Sanders, he said, go and bring Daniel out. Because he make a mockery of Daniel. He said, you, I serve him. Every time you continue serving the Lord. He said, you will see whether the Lord, your God will deliver you out from the prison. What is the disappointment of the, of the king? But the light, the, 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 the Daniel came out without nothing, without pains, without agonies, but he came out with joys and testimonies. Child of God, what would have mocked you? What is that devil that have laughed against you? Because the power of anointed of God, the grace of God, the anointed of the Holy Ghost. The answer of God is speaking. Man that I will shout. As the end of the Bosuke Telebo Shout. As Suka Liko Suka Lande de Kura Basukete. Mazeke Yere Kura Basukete. Zikayarabo Shalde de Kuta Basukete. Kazundu Basuke Telebo Shout. Because God is giving the hope. The hope of joy. The hope of glory. The hope of testimony by the name of Jesus, because the power. Jesus. Child of God, if you want to go and read, open Daniel chapter 6, verse 20. You will hear the stories. Open Daniel 6, 20. And the Lord will give you, and the grace of God and authority of the heaven. I speak to you. Maleke suka libra suka yarabo shanta. Because the power of authority of God, please hold on. The grace of God was so ever the darkness that you have been running. You are running on a bush. You are running in a journey that was so ever that is chasing you. That I come to speak in the answer of the Holy Ghost. And I speak the mark of God. I speak the mark of the Holy Ghost. Whatsoever has been chasing you, whatsoever has been bringing that glory upon that business down, whatsoever has been causing commotion in that business, whatsoever has been speaking against your job. You are seeing the face of old woman that is appearing upon your eyes. And I speak from today's I cancel by the grace of authorities. And I speak against that face of that devil never to appear again. Amen. Never to Amen. speak against your eyes. Amen. Amen. Because the angels of the Holy Ghost, because the mandate of God the supernatural of the Holy Ghost shall speak upon your life. Amen. Once it's out on the tables of blessings. Please continue. Daniel chapter 6, verse 20. And when he came to the den, he cried with a lamentable voice He cried with a lamentable voice unto Daniel. And the king spoke and said unto Daniel, O Daniel, Servant of the living God, is thy God whom thou servest continually able to deliver thee from the lion, from the lions? Verse 21. Then said Daniel unto the king, O king, live forever. 
verse 22. My God has sent his angel. Please, stand there. Please, sorry, stop there. Verse 21, Daniel prayed for the king. See, child of God, somebody was putting you in a prison. Along the way, you are praying for someone. Daniel was praying for the king. Are you hearing me? Why the Lord will not put the king in shame and disgrace? Because Daniel prayed for him. He make an altar of word of prayers. In that 21. Why did God will not disgrace him? Why God will not intervene? Why God will not show himself? The king mocked Daniel. He said, let him see your God. That how God, your God, will deliver you out. You have been serving God and somebody has been mocking you. He said, let him see how your God will prove to you. Because God is a God. He said, try me that you will see my God. Whatsoever anyone mock you, he did not mock you because he mock your God. If you know your God, you put your God in action. Because your heaven will reign, the power of God will move. The grace of God and authority of the Holy Ghost will speak upon you. Amen. And the power of God will flow. Amen. And the angels of the Holy Ghost and the grace of mighty of powers. Whatsoever that is standing, whatsoever that is fighting against your business, against your careers, but I come to announce to you, because the Lord has come to approve you. The Lord has come to prove you have come to put a stamp Amen. of that document, of that contract, of that Amen. job, of that marriage. What is that power that we're speaking Amen. against that marriage, against that home? What is that darkness that we're speaking? Amen. What is that covenant of that blood? What is that covenant of that treaty that we've been speaking upon that family? In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of abortions. The God of destroyers. The God that put everyone in shame. The devil in shame. He will put them in shame. When they are going to arise against you, he will show them out. Because what they cannot do, what they cannot change, because he lived it and lived it forever and forever more. No matter that sorrows, the pain, the agony that you have went through, the Lord is pulling away that shame of garments. Man say, "Kaya la bushota." Zoni kudu asukete kazenge ye makani kutwa because the power of God, the mark of the Holy Ghost, the grace of God, the authority of anointed of God, and the grace of those who speak makande kusuke ye la. Because the heaven of God is raining My upon your life. Because you will turn everything around you. Amen. The same of us who get it. I am all shaka leku sukete. Zendu ruba suke yere moshita. Because it's a covenant God. It's a living God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Wherever you are right now, I want you to lift your hands to the heavens. By the authority of the heaven of God. Let the grace of God begin to come upon you. Amen. Let the light of God, let the grace, let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the mandates of fires, let the grace of God, let the anointing of the Holy Ghost, because that sickness of attacks is broken down. Because the Lord have come to anoint you. The Lord have come to speak the mark of the Holy Ghost. Have come to speak upon your life. Because they have given you joy of blessings. They have given you hope of glorious. By the name of Jesus Christ, 
and I speak upon your life and I speak the grace of the Holy Ghost. And the God, the power of God, we anoint you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the Lord has set us with so ever issues, with so ever authorities of the devils, you have shut the mouth of the evils by the name of Jesus Christ. And the Lord shall be with you in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover your life with the power of the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. amen. And amen. The Lord be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's time for our last week and our offerings. This is whatsoever you are. Just be on the line and share your testimony. And the Lord shall be with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's begin to commit the man of God unto God's hands. Let's begin to pray. Amen. Let's begin to pray that God should strengthen him more and more. Let's begin to pray for more God's anointing upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus. King of glory, Lord, we commit the man of God unto your hands. Lord, we lift him up above. We lift him up unto your hands. We say, take absolute control upon him in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for more anointing upon his life in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we ask for your great protections upon him and his family in the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, we hand over the rest of the things unto your hands. We say, take absolute control, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Testimony time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I look at the fire in the house. I have a testimony. Okay. Please share your testimony. You can go ahead. As part of my classes for my past school year, I took uh, AP language and composition. Uh, and it's a class to prepare you for college, uh, a college English class but I took it in high school. And being that this is an exam that students all over the United States take, it took a while to grade. So it also came out um, about four days ago. And I saw that to the grace of God, God blessed me with a five, which is the highest you can get in the exam. And yes, mm -hmm. and that's it. Wow. Thank God for that testimony. And may it be permanent in your life in Jesus' name. Any other mm -hmm. testifier in the house? Do you have another testifier? Uh, okay, before another person was sharing his testimony, uh, okay. when the what she's trying to explain, because the testimony is in a big testimony upon her life. And there's an exam she takes, she's like the believing God. And the prayer was going on upon her life. And you know, this exam is an unbelievable that that is an, an, a mark that they're expecting from, from every student. And the mark that expecting that the lowest mark that can accept from everyone, like um, three percent or three marks, you understand. But God did it and God turned away everything. And she believed on God and she's begin to pray and begin to intercede for the grace of God. And she believed that God can be able to do it. You understand? This is an exam, it's right. And she, that, there's no hope that there's in a great time a mark for the students. You understand? But God gave him the final testimony and the final marks. And was like the breaking of a yoke. You understand? It's a very great of a testimony upon his life. And God took him and the class is supposed to be. And he passed away more class. As like somebody was promoted. You understand? So it is the supernatural of the heaven upon that testimony upon her life. And upon her, her, her family. By the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, I declare by the name of Jesus Christ upon the lives of your daughter of Zion. Father, because you have done the greater things. A great things of joy and testimony upon her life because you begin to order this her feet by the name of Jesus and the Amen. heaven of God and authority of the heaven and the grace of God and the mark of God shall speak upon you. Amen. Your heaven shall speak and your scholarship shall be released. 
Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And the heaven of God to speak right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank Amen. you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Any other testify in the house? Any more testifier? May our testimony be permanent in our lives in Jesus' name. Offering time. Blessing time. Yeah, now begin to speak into those offerings in your hands. Lift it up unto God and tell God what you want that offering to be for you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Amen. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me, I cannot tell it all. What the Lord has done for me. I cannot tell it all. He saved me and washed me with his blood. So I can shout hallelujah. I can shout hallelujah. I can shout praise the Lord. So I can shout hallelujah. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, Father Lord, we commit this offering unto your hands. King of glory, he said, as you give and shall be Amen. come back to us more abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Please wait for the announcement. Uh, announcement. Uh, God bless you all. This is Preaching Gospel Deliverance Ministry. I want to use this opportunity to welcome everyone fellowship with us for the first time, and we hope we are blessed by today's service. We meet every Friday and Saturday, Sunday at 6 p.m. Nigerian time to pray and seek the face of God. Please invite someone, including your friends and family, to join in the wonderful fellowship. As you know, People can connect from the comfort of their homes or offices. And we also live on Zoom and Facebook book on service days. And today's ministration is available on YouTube. So if you want to access it, just type in Preaching Gospel Deliverance Ministry. Our building project is still on. And if you want to sow seed, support the project or pay your tithes and offering, the account number is displayed on the screen. If you can't access that, you can also request for the account details from the man of God and it will be made available to you. Remember 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 to 8. Whosoever sows sparingly, we also reap sparingly. And whoever sows generously, we reap generously. Each of us should give as the Spirit leads, not reluctantly or under compulsion, because God loves a cheerful giver. Praise the Lord. Let us appreciate today's service. Let us thank God for this wonderful opportunity to fellowship in his presence. We thank God because we received mighty thanksgiving and mighty blessings. We thank God for everything he's done in our life and will continue to do in our lives. For in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let us share the grace. By the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the love of the fellowship of the Holy Spirit Amen. be with us now forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, everyone. Bless you. Amen. Jesus.